Hi Sagittarius, this is Shah from Charlie's Angel Tarot and this is your reading for the 6th to the 12th of April 2020. I'm using the Fairy Lenormand deck and I'm using the Mythic deck, the Tea Leaves and Charms and Inspiration and Surrender deck. Uh, now YouTube has gone into the new system and welcome to my Cyber Angels and new viewers. Please hit the subscribe button and the bell and when you click on the bell you get three options, none, all or private. If you put it on private or none then you won't get notifications. If you put on all then you'll be or should be notified, be getting notified. Okay, there's more information information on in how to get into contact with me uh, in the description box below this video. If you would like an extended reading or click on this little white uh, circle with the eye in it and it will take you to the website. There you can scout around what is on offer and the updates and watch the interviews and reviews and even more. I've already got one page up and running on the uh, this is under the heading whiplash and information for unseen uh, the handicaps I want to guide people and uh, support people that's the other side of me so if you're interested go and have a look um, and I'll be doing that next to my spiritual uh, channel, uh, Charlie's Angel Tarot. That is my priority after all. The first card that you have, my darlings, uh, is that, uh, and I hope you are all well and safe, is number 31, which is three in one, means proper foundations. Good foundations, you've got the sun, you might be in the spotlight. Um, and there's something might be illuminated. There could be a situation or a question. You might be moving home. You might be going on holiday. You might be traveling. You might go up a next level in your relationship. Or you might be getting a promotion. Sorry, just taking a sip of my water. Perhaps you have sown seeds. So, because you've got the seven of pentacles. What you have sown, you shall reap. So if you sown something good, which in this case I think you have, you will be reaping. The time is right and ripe as you've got the alarm clock. But the alarm clock is standing on seven as well. So you've got two sevens. And this could also be an alarm call. Seven might be significant for you. Uh, you can perhaps see it's on seven o'clock. Um, so there could be an alarm call saying that it is time to reap. You've got the feather from the tea leaf readings. Someone you know is undependable and insincere. Somebody is undependable, you cannot depend on them and they're not sincere, they're insincere. So perhaps that is your alarm call. Wakey wakey, it is time to wake up and see what is good for you and what is not good for you. Midweek, you ha I'm not using the cartomacy, that's this section. I'm only using the numerology and the meaning and the messages I get from the Lenaman. You're holding the key to your future and to your life, to your power. Are you in your power, Sagittarius? Um, if not, then open the door to positivity and stand in your power and close the door on negativity get back in your power. You've got the Nine of Swords. You might have had sleepless nights or are having sleepless nights and people might be gossiping around you or you might be hearing so many ideas that or you are getting worried and tensed up. Put your problems next to your clothes at night and give it to the Divine or the Angels and they will solve it in the Divine Time. Now midweek you have the horseshoe, so luck is on your side. Look at that, you've got the horseshoe. Uh, 
so luck is on your side now a butterfly is usually good news that means there is a transformational period so I think you're transforming from uh, not standing in your own strength and making your own decisions worrying about other people and not yourself I think you are being you're changing uh, your transform uh, transforming into a butterfly a chance for the better a chance a change for the better there you go there you are transformation is at hand and luck is on your side you might have fallen in love if you are already hooked up then you are in balance now that is at the end of the week because you've got the heart you've got the heart and you've formed a partnership or you would like to form a partnership or you are doing something that you love or that you're passionate about okay so don't worry about other people if you are strong and if you love yourself if you respect yourself if you take care of yourself you are the beacon of interest you are mysterious you are strong people love to see this but don't let people make misuse out of it you are attractive okay you are attractive if you are strong so open that door to positivity you've got the Emperor and the Emperor is holds the world in his hand he can rule his lands he's higher than the king and you could be in love or be meeting an Aries or a man of business a man that is usually also uh, let me put that an advisor uh, somebody with a, a judicial uh, background or an educated background so you might be meeting up with an educated Aries Aries is usually very well read up you've got the anchor and the anchor for me is hope faith and love but I'll go into the anchor in a little bit but you've got the bow you are highly thought of wow somebody is interested in you but you have to be strong you have to stand in your strength Sagittarius now with this anchor you've got three things okay you've got the anchor that means you've put down your anchor and you feel at home where you are then you've got the cross like the ank and that means also good luck and then you have the ring the ring for partnerships to get married you might even get married to an Aries and other fire sign and uh, the heart isn't here but that's the charm and you've got the anchor you've got the cross um, with the heart so that's why I said hope is um, the anchor faith is uh, faith as faith having faith or ha having a religious faith have faith in yourself very good advice here now you might be getting a visitor this visitor could be somebody that you love if you're not partnered up or you'll be receiving news from them definitely you will receive news this week or you might be going to visit somebody like I said at the beginning of the week you might be traveling okay here wow look at this you've got the card strength you are in your strength you're ready for this new beginning and for this meeting to form a partnership you are strong you have faith in yourself good 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 you have transformed why because you've got a butterfly and created for you that is what it says on the back this is the butterfly so you are in a transformational period again here you've got the butterfly so you've got two butterflies so again midweek you were in trans uh, in transformation again at the weekend 
and it says on the back created for you you've got the rose and rose usually means love so let's see what the tea leaves say romance is in the air wow what did I say you might be going to visit this Aries or an educated well-read man I see a good I definitely see a good future I also see positivity and marriage I don't know why I can say it with confidence but if you're not hooked up this could be permanent you could be going to live with somebody like I said moving going on holiday and here we've got somebody going to visit I think it could be you and it is a four so that's the house stability and where else did you have stability let me have a look uh, I think it was you otherwise it is no, no, no. you've got an angel number here coming back to it yes 33 a double number so the angels have your back here you go 31 is also a 4 so you've got two fours and 33 you've got two double numbers so the angels have your back don't isolate yourself I know the house means protection feeling safe and uh, it also means that you're staying inside and that you're hiding away no don't do that use that key stand in your power you can decide what you want to do stay away from negative gossip and negativity so come out of your house and mingle do some network okay ah lovely 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 good news so go out there and mingle go and meet him or her and or in invite them to your house also come out of your comfort zone underneath the house you've got the boat abundance and coming in moving home going on holiday traveling take time out for yourself though that's the overall energy and evaluate meditate or contemplate and evaluates that's it all over energy the bottom of the decks surrender to wonder and are open to the magic of every moment and sense of are and wonder in all of life this attitude will keep you connected to the ecstasy of flow so be open to wonders my darlings and the ah or er uh, moments also be thankful for everyone every single person who's drifted in and out of your life is a part of your divine chosen experience as you move into the world of inspiration you will find it easy and even necessary to give thanks for all of those and these people and to take serious note of what they brought you they brought you wisdom they brought you uh, life experience learn from that stand in your own strength open the doors be able to make decisions don't listen to everybody and anybody trust your intuition love is on its way that is what you can choose you're the one you're the only one that can choose what you want if you want a partner up then do so don't listen to gossip mongers you've sown the seeds you've you're in the spotlight so love yourself respect yourself choose what you want and stand in your strength okay let me have a look because we did have the eighth house and I can't see where it is the eighth house the number eight comes in with strength because strength is usually number eight and look you've got number seven number eight number nine so you're slowly climbing the letter ladder to improvement you've got luck on your side you've listened you are going to listen to the alarm call don't fall back in old habits all the people that have been in your life have taught you a lesson and be grateful 
be grateful and watch out for the moments that are wonders. Wonders haven't left the world yet. And enjoy the wonder and the are moments. Remember, you are a wonder and you are also are. So long you love yourself, respect yourself and stand in your strength. Note, you've got two fours and you've got... Uh, hang on a minute. Uh, let me have a look. You've got a four here and you've got a four here and you've got a four here. So basically, you've got a four, four, four. That is a significant meaning as well. And you've got the double number here.